when you're ready to buy that PC, yeah. you know where to go. It actually feels like I'm playing on a PC, <laughs> honestly. It almost just feels like, that, like they, they didn't give up the smoothness from the controller. Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And as you can see, we have an Xbox Series S right here, and we have a mouse and keyboard. What's up with that? We're gonna be using it as a gaming PC. Some people out there don't know, you can actually use keyboard and mouse natively on Xbox Series S in some titles. And we're gonna show you exactly how this gaming PC setup works with an Xbox. But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Tonar and their Q9 USB condenser microphone. For the price, this USB mic can't be beat with this included mic arm and pop filter along with a built-in volume adjustment option on the mic itself and of course it sounds pretty great i'm actually using the microphone right now to record this ad spot if you're interested in upgrading your streaming or conference call game then definitely check the link in the description down below and check out this mic and special thanks again to tonar for sponsoring today's video so as many of you guys know we really don't ever do stuff with consoles this is actually the first thing we've done with the console in quite some time the only other thing we did was well that we basically said is this better than a gaming PC in 2021. Well, it's now 2022. Matt's been playing on this Xbox for a while with controller. And now we kind of had the question, you know, it supports keyboard and mouse. Is it really worth trying? Or at that point, should you just get a gaming PC that can already do controller, keyboard and mouse? This thing recently went on sale for $250, which is absolutely hard to beat. So we're going to go ahead and launch some games that are supported. Some games that I do know that are supported are Halo Infinite and Warzone. I installed Minecraft. I'm not totally sure if it's supported, but we're going to try all those titles and see exactly how well it works. So let's just dive into it. And before we actually get in this benchmark, we just want to shout out Pixio for sending over this beautiful PXC 279, 240Hz, 1080p, 27 inch IPS curved, if I didn't already say that, display. And it is absolutely breathtaking. And it is honestly a great price too. Definitely check out Pixio because they honestly have the absolute best bang for buck monitors out there and we really like them. And um, we're not gonna break this one this time. We won't break it, I swear. So yeah, we're gonna be using this monitor. Most of the games that we'll be playing will either be running 1080p 60 or in some cases, Warzone actually will run at 1080p 120 Hertz. So we can actually have high refresh rate gaming on this Xbox Series S. So we're gonna start with Halo Infinite because Jackson was just like, I'm diving into Halo Infinite, I gotta play. I haven't played in a while. We gotta get ready for the stream that is in two days. Yeah. You guys aren't gonna see that, but- You're probably gonna see next You know, months. I would say the stream might be in two days from when this video uploads, because we're very ahead right now. So um, yeah, that'll definitely be fun to see when that happens. But yeah, we got our keyboard and mouse hooked up. One thing that I asked Matt that I figure a lot of you guys might wanna know is, when can you use a keyboard and mouse? Well, really the answer is only in the game. It's the games that natively support it. You can't just really hop on your Xbox and actually just use it like a computer. You still have to use your controller. So that part's a little bit weird because you kind of got to, you know, do some of this action. But as you can see, now that we're in the game, um, do we, we don't have like a cursor though, do we? Do we not have a cursor? That's interesting. Definitely weird. Okay, so I guess it's like to an extent you can um, kind of do that. I know some people actually do like the playing style where you use like a, a mouse and a keyboard. So it looks like it just jumps. I swear it's like it was like doing it this, I don't even know. But anyways, all right, so let's go ahead and go. We can use this. Okay. So that works. Arrow so. Piece. Uh, we'll go multiplayer. What do you say we do some quick yeah, play? Yeah, some quick play. Some quick play. Now, one thing um, to note is we actually have this headset ran through our monitor. That's like basically sound pass through uh, because the Xbox Series S and I think really all the consoles don't really have like the typical uh, mic in and the headphone out. You need a USB if you want to actually have headphones plugged in. So this is kind of a workaround for a cheaper headset. So now while this is loading in, we actually hit play for it to load in, but once it's loading in, we're going to tripod up and do some gaming. All right, let's see if this actually works. Are you using, oh, yeah. wow, wow, look at that. All right, so um, it actually feels like I'm playing on a PC, honestly. <laughs> now, one thing that I'm curious about is how exactly aim is supposed to work. I'm assuming we're gonna have none. Yeah, we have none. Okay, so cool. Just, yeah, so it's literally like playing on a keyboard and mouse. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like, I feel like if you're coming from PC, then this is really cool. If you're just like a console player, I don't see this being of any benefit to you personally. Um, but although that's, we just started. I mean, I might find that I really like it, but I just remember I was really impressed when uh, we got this Xbox and we, you know, of course we had to test out controller to see like how good we were. And man, aim assist really comes <laughs> in clutch, so. And this is a game that runs at 108060 um, on the Series S. We'll be testing Warzone, which actually is supposed to run 1080 120 hertz. So we'll see exactly how well that feels and it'll feel more like a PC gaming experience. This definitely looks really good. So that part's not. Oh man, is, you I, had a I, shot, what happened like there? I don't know. No, I mean, it's, it's definitely like an enthusiast thing that we're doing yes. here. Like, but it, it's a lot easier now. It's not quite like only enthusiasts can do it, yep, which is nice. You literally plug it in. 
Yeah, let us know like if, if you like using keyboard and mouse, why is that? Yeah, well, what's your preference? Look at these guys, <laughs> they're an 80, oh my gosh. But yeah, there we go, yeah, we Halo it. Infinite. It works. Easy. It's gaming ready. Let's try another game. All right, guys, we're now in Warzone, a game that actually gives you a cursor. Believe it or not, we're going to the menu here. Look at that, you get a cursor in this game, woo! Um, but yeah, I, I'm definitely starting to see, this is my first time playing Warzone on this Xbox. You can definitely tell the sacrifices they made to get this at the 120 FPS or 120 Hertz. It's smooth, I'll give you that, but it is definitely blurry and that motion blur that's just like default on the console and you can't turn it off isn't the greatest, but you know what? We're using the keyboard and mouse and we're playing Warzone, woohoo! So we're gonna drop in and see if we can get some kills. And also FOV. I feel like consoles nowadays should be able to change the FOV, but that's that's not a thing apparently. Yeah, this is definitely a game that a lot of people say, hey, I'm switching from, oh. <laughs> oh, he's running, dude, he's running. You gotta chase him. <laughs> ah, I saw him hiding in the bush. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a game a lot of people want to switch over from console to PC for, and I can understand why. Um, definitely you get the FOV controls on PC and you're not limited to the static FOV of whatever or whatever this is. Um, and you also get well, higher FPS and, and better quality overall. So um, being able to use keyboard and mouse though at least will at least tide you over if this is what you're working with before you can buy your beautiful PC with a 3060, 3070, 3080 from PCBros.tech. Yeah, buy a PC from us. Oh, heck yeah. Um, but yeah, the keyboard and mouse does work like you're on a PC, just like Jackson said when he was playing Halo. There's definitely one thing to keep in mind too is, you know, although a PC will give you a much better um, looking gameplay, that does come at a cost. I mean, if you were to try to spend, let's say, I don't know, $500 uh, with current MSRP, you're not gonna be able to get anything um, really at that point that'll even play Warzone, yes. especially if you're not going used parts. Um, really for, for you to actually, was there something in there? Is that just like an AI thing? Or is he really know. just blasting? I have no idea what's going on right now. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Yeah, I mean, you'd probably have to spend around, I would say like $1,500 to be able to get like a good amount better performance in this. And that's kind of at the least. That's just one thing to keep in mind. We're gonna take him out with the pistol. Oh, come oh. on. I thought Dude, I that hit shot him. didn't register. But yeah, one thing's for sure, like normally when you're playing the sweaty people in PC Warzone, you normally get blasted a lot quicker than you do no, this, against some consoles. Everyone was pretty bad. Yeah, everyone is pretty bad. So, you know, the skill gap there, if you want to, you know, come over here, use a keyboard and mouse and just win a bunch of games, I mean, you got that covered. If you're a good player on Xbox, <laughs> you'll be a very average slash bad player on console. Yeah, it's gonna trigger so many people and I love it. <laughs> Warzone definitely works the best. You actually get mouse input. You can do stuff like change the settings and everything with a mouse. So that definitely works. We're gonna try Minecraft. I really did not even look up if it actually is supported, but if it isn't supported, then we're gonna show you what it looks like if it's not supported. So let's just do that. <laughs> well, would you look at that? We just happened to launch Minecraft and it actually just works. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, seems like it's natively supported. Let's see, so we can, yeah, we have a cursor. Let's go to like settings. Um, yeah, I mean, wow, that's a lot of settings. It's really weird. It's definitely different than uh, your typical Microsoft computer uh, Minecraft. This is, you know, actually the Xbox version or console version, if you will. Yeah, so you can just do them. Yeah, I think. Oh, sweet. Okay, so yeah. it looks like you actually can. All right, right click, just like in the wow. PC. Right. Crafting table, baby. Right, I'm gonna throw on a crafting table. Now, can we make a... Oh, well, you gave me an achievement. Get in wood, baby. Can we, can we make a pickaxe? Let's see, we're gonna go for a wooden pickaxe. Not bad. It looks like the um, console version of Minecraft definitely came a long way because that did not used to be a thing. I remember when console, like Minecraft first came out, you were very, it felt like you were playing like the OG web browser uh, version where there's just like nothing you could really do. So yeah, definitely good to see. And it looks really good. It looks like we're, I don't this game's probably 60 FPS, right? I would assume so, but it seems pretty smooth. So I'm not totally sure. I can look up what it's supposed to run at. Yeah, it looks like it's just yeah, 60. Yeah, it, it feels like 60. Like there's a little bit of screen tearing yeah. here and there if we look around too fast. Um, it definitely has like, it has like smoothing or something. It's like, yeah. if you look like, like just kind of like run around for a second, it doesn't feel like a computer. It oh, feels yeah. like I'm on a controller. It does, <laughs> it kind of, I don't know if it's like- It's not like blur. a bad thing necessarily. It's just, it feels like delayed kind of. Yeah, it's different. It doesn't feel <laughs> as fluid. I think it has to do with motion blur too. Is there yeah, like maybe. a motion blur slider in like a normal desktop Minecraft? I think it was a slider there. You just turn it on and off, but yeah. maybe. I don't know. It could just be motion blur. Motion blur on consoles is like default and you normally can't get rid of it. So that's one of the big downsides is I, I've never liked keyboard or mouse with motion blur. It just feels weird. It feels like you're drunk. You lose FPS and stuff too. Yeah, you feel pretty drunk, but 
Um, yeah, I don't know. It works. Again, like we've tested three games, works fine. There's definitely a list of games that are supported and I'll leave a link down below to a resource that I saw when we were planning this video. But yeah, now he's gonna switch to the controller to just see how it feels. Does it feel better on controller? Um, yeah, it does. It actually feels like it makes sense why it's smooth. It almost just feels like that, like they they didn't give up the smoothness from the controller. But yeah, there you go. Freaking That's nerds. <laughs> <laughs> that is turning an Xbox Series S into a gaming PC. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys. So we just got done doing our benchmarking session, and uh, obviously we weren't going to have MSI Afterburner pulled up or anything because one thing that's cool about console is you basically get your guaranteed FPS, uh, whether it's through scaling or resolution or whatever they got to do. But yeah, I mean the game's played really well. We did keyboard and mouse, and it felt for the most part like playing on a computer. But it does kind of leave the whole question of why not just buy a PC at that point. And I think the big part thing is price. But yeah, guys, as you can tell, I killed our guy in Minecraft while Jackson was talking, yay. Uh, but the keyboard and mouse thing, it works. If you already have a console and you just had no idea about this and you've been thinking about going PC but you just can't afford it right now, you can use a cheap keyboard and mouse and have somewhat of a PC gaming it's experience. It's a good way to practice if you think you want yes, to get a PC. Because jumping to keyboard and mouse is definitely a learning curve, but you can pick it up pretty quickly and you can, well, do that by clicking the link in the description down below and buying an Xbox Series S and some peripherals, because yeah, peripherals are awesome with this. Keyboard and mouse, woo. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. For all of you aspiring PC gamers out there or people who just want to upgrade your gaming PC, we got the perfect solution for you. PCBros.tech is where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and a lot of other fun stuff. And if you use code TOZYBROS2 at checkout, you can save 2% of your next order. You ready to make the jump from console? I know you are. Buy a PC from PCBros.tech. See you guys later. Goodbye.